പ്രിസ്ക്രൈബ് ഓൺ മെഡിക്കൽ എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ സീരീസ് ഹൈപ്പർ ടെൻഷൻ പാർട്ട് ടു ദി പാത്തോജനിസിസ് ദറ്റ് ഈസ് മെക്കാനിസം ഓഫ് ഹൈപ്പർ ടെൻഷൻ ദ പ്രഷർ ഇൻ ദി സർക്കുലേഷൻ ഇസ് ദി പ്രോഡക്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദി കാർഡിയാക് ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് സി ഒ ആൻഡ് പെരിഫറൽ റെസിസ്റ്റൻസ് പി ആർ ബ്ലഡ് പ്രഷർ ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സി ഒ ഇൻ ടു പി ആർ ബോത്ത് കാർഡിയാക് ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് ആൻഡ് പെരിഫറൽ റെസിസ്റ്റൻസ് can be influenced by several control mechanisms including activity of the renin angiotensin aldosterone system activity of the sympathetic nervous system and other factors influencing salt and water in body fluids note renin angiotensin aldosterone system ras the incoming afferent arterioles of the kidney have special cells called juxtaglomerular jg cells containing prorenin in response to decreased blood pressure prorenin is converted to renin which is released into the blood renin acts on angiotensinogen produced by the liver in plasma and converts it into angiotensin 1 angiotensin 1 is catalyzed by angiotensin converting enzyme as found in vascular endothelium of lungs and kidneys to angiotensin 2 angiotensin 2 has effects on kidney adrenal cortex arterioles and brain in the kidneys it increases sodium absorption causing retention of fluid increasing the arterial pressure in addition vascular structural changes associated with hypertension play a role in accentuating its severity and conferring resistance to treatment these structural changes include small artery remodeling resulting in a reduced media lumen ratio increasing peripheral resistance and large artery stiffening reducing compliance of the circulation dear listeners by the way this educational video is made possible by prescribe on the makers of e prescription software for digital prescriptions available freely for doctors on the website www.prescribeon.com doctors who are interested in this e prescription can freely avail of its vast collection of more than 100000 e prescriptions secondary causes for hypertension in some cases probably less than 10% of the hypertension cases a discrete cause for hypertension will be identified they are narrowing of aorta technically called quiertation of aorta renal artery stenosis that is narrowing adrenal diseases thyroid problems and obstructive sleep apnea in most other circumstances the pathogenesis of essential hypertension that is hypertension that is not due to a recognized secondary cause is a complex interplay between one genetic predisposition to lifestyle and the environmental influences and three the aforementioned control mechanisms specific lifestyle influences on blood pressure the most important lifestyle environmental influences on blood pressure are sodium intake obesity and alcohol intake with regard to dietary influences on blood pressure diets rich in fruit and vegetables with low total unsaturated fat may protect against hypertension dietary salt intake dietary sodium intake has an important impact on blood pressure some patients will be more sensitive to dietary sodium intake than others dietary sodium restriction salt intake allowed maximum for about 6 grams per day forms part of the lifestyle intervention such restriction also delays 
the development of hypertension in people with pre-hypertension. Dietary sodium restriction influences not only blood pressure but also cardiovascular disease risk, about 30% lower risk. So in general, reduce dietary sodium saltate, obesity and blood pressure. Fat people generally have higher blood pressure than lean people. Although body mass index BMI is often used to define obesity, visceral adiposity seems to be more important in defining the relationship between blood pressure and obesity. Visceral obesity also increases the likelihood of coexisting metabolic syndrome in people with hypertension. See Metabolic Syndrome in Prescribe On Medical Education Series, Diabetes 1 and 2. In untreated hypertensive people, fat tends to preferentially accumulate intra-abdominally and intra-thoracically and the magnitude of this visceral adiposity is adi quantitatively related to the blood pressure. Alcohol intake and blood pressure. There is a strong association between alcohol intake and blood pressure. Blood pressure falls when alcohol is withdrawn from heavy drinkers. Impact of fetal and infant growth. There is an association between low birth weight and risk of developing hypertension and premature cardiovascular diseases in future. Atheroma in hypertension. Hypertension is associated with an increased risk of generalized atherosclerotic disease. This is likely to result from blood pressure and hemodynamic stress, inflammatory and oxidative stresses, endothelial disturbances and neurohormonal activation. The heart in hypertension. Left ventricular hypertrophy is a classic feature of untreated or inadequately treated long-standing hypertension. The brain in hypertension. Hypertension is the single most important risk factor for stroke and is increasingly recognized as a major factor contributing to the rate of cognitive decline in later life. All categories of stroke, ischemic, that is large and small vessel block and lack of blood supply, hemorrhagic, that is bleeding from an artery, and embolic, that is clot getting dislodged from a distant area, traveling further on and getting blocked in a distal area, are increased in hypertensive patients. Cerebral, that is atro thrombotic infarction. Infarction, that is death of tissue in a local area, accounts for about 80% of the strokes suffered by patients with hypertension. It is usually attributable to atheroma of one of the larger cerebral arteries, usually the middle cerebral artery, or to small vessel, that is lacunar infarction. Intracerebral hemorrhage. This accounts for 10 to 15 percent of strokes in patients with hypertension and is usually the result of rupture of a small intracerebral degenerative microaneurysm, that is, a small dilated portion of vessel wall. These lesions develop in the small below 200 micrometer diameter vessels, that is, perforating arteries in various parts of the brain. The incidence of aneurysms is closely related with age and blood pressure. Hypertension and cognitive function. Hypertension is increasingly recognized as an important cause of dementia with increased blood pressure in midlife associated with an increased risk of dementia in later life. Cognitive decline is related to diffuse small vessel cerebrovascular disease in untreated hypertension and in older patients. The kidney in hypertension. Patients with renal disease 
often have hypertension and people with hypertension can develop renal disease management the treatment of hypertension is directed towards reducing risk rather than treating symptoms an optimal treatment target should be less than 140 by 90 mm in patients under 60 years and less than 150 by 90 for patients aged over 60 years systolic blood pressure sbp is the more important prognostic factor that is future outcome is invariably more difficult to control and should be the main focus of treatment the most effective lifestyle interventions for reducing blood pressure are one modifications to diet to induce weight loss two regular aerobic exercise and three reduction of excessive alcohol four reduction of excessive salt intake five all smokers should be offered advice and help to quit to reduce cardiovascular and other risks many patients will require more than one drug to control blood pressure a single drug is rarely sufficient the blood pressure response to an individual class of blood pressure lowering medication is variable hence there is no perfect drug for every patient initial therapy should be with two drugs an angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors aci captopril inalapril lisinopril and others and similar pills or angiotensin receptor blockers arbs like candisartan olmisartan losartan telmisartan and other sartans combined with a calcium channel blockers like amlodipine diltiazem nifedipine verapamil or thiazide diuretics combinations of blood pressure lowering drugs are often required to achieve recommended blood pressure goals